Hello, I'm Benito Mussolini, and I endorse Kamala Harris as President of the United States of America. Kamala Harris is going to be a great president, and as President of the United States, she will have to face internal and external enemies. And among the many, China. China. Just the word makes a lot of Americans tremble. A pure, pure competitor who is uh, rising on the global stage uh, to compete against the United States of America. It is a danger. It is a mortal danger. But Kamala Harris would be ready, ready to face this danger. For years, she studied the enemy. As a matter of fact, Kamala Harris spent each and every Tuesday in different Chinese restaurants of Washington, studying the enemy from the inside, uh, studying the language, uh, language uh, yeah, studying the language, yes, uh, looking at the enemy, the way he moves, uh, what he likes to eat, uh, mm, those noodles with soy sauce, uh, are they good or are they a poisonous meal served on the table of each and every American? Mm. Anyway, Kamala Harris has a plan. 50 ideas to change America, a daring political program, and there is a chapter dedicated to China. As you all know, the Chinese are competing in each and every field against the Americans. Artificial intelligence, aviation, shipbuilding, weapons, armaments, and Chinese restaurants. There are too many. We cannot allow that. We gotta go back to the old American traditions, uh, the hamburger, the T-bone steak. Uh, and Kamala Harris will face Xi Jinping, uh, eye to eye. She will look at him, and she will squeeze his nuts to death if necessary. Uh, you wanna cook in that Chinese restaurant? Huh? Have a bottle of Xi Jinping nut juice. Uh, huh? You see how the soy sauce will taste with those noodles. Ti faccio vedere io, ti faccio vedere. In any case, let me read what she wants to do. So, in order to defend America from the rise of China, we propose an embargo on Chinese chopsticks all over. <laughs> Chinese eyes. <laughs>